This morning, the Russian military eager to prove they're still in the fight. I've won. Releasing this video showing an all-out attack. But the battlefield appears to be telling a much different story. A graveyard of abandoned and destroyed Russian military equipment. The Ukrainian counteroffensive pushing forward with no signs of slowing. Leaders are saying they've liberated 150,000 people across more than 2,300 square miles. Ukraine's military running Russian forces out of previously held Ukrainian territories. Uh, Russians uh, have come home in body bags, have come home uh, missing limbs as stories uh, of the abject uh, brutality of this war. Uh, return to Russia. You're not worried that the Russians will reclaim the territory that Ukraine just recaptured? They are demoralized and they have no specific plan how to do so. So we've proven that our planning is way much better. The weapons that are being on the ground are working fine. We just need more to proceed and to speed up the liberalization process. A process that's showing signs it's working. They were running like mice, this Ukrainian soldier said. They were running and abandoning everything, vehicles, their own men. People in liberated towns desperate for aid, but relieved to be free. They're also angry, civilians and soldiers tearing up the Russian flag and tearing down Russian propaganda. But as villages are taken back, evidence of horrific war crimes are surfacing again this time in Kharkiv. They took people. It was horror here, this woman said. Investigators recovering bodies, people shot in the head, and evidence of torture. And this morning, British intelligence suggests that the drones Russia brought, bought from Iran are being used here in Ukraine. Meanwhile, President Putin is preparing to meet with China's President Xi in Uzbekistan tomorrow. Hoda? All right, Megan Fitzgerald for us there in Kyiv. Megan, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.